hi guys another video and it didn't take so long in the previous video I showed an easy way to make a tachometer using laser and the ordinary LED in this video I want to make a comparison between this tachometer and the whole effect based one what I want to know is are the values we got in the previous video reliable so let's get started The first thing you have to do is to have a look at the pinout of the whole effect sensor we will be using. I will be using the A3144 whole effect sensor and that's the pinout. You guys might have a different whole effect sensor, just look at the pinout as well and hook up the cables according to it. So let's see how it works. So now we have all the cables connected, I also connected the oscilloscope to the signal and ground pins. So let's use some neodymium magnets to see how the whole effect sensor detects its presence. So as you can see, when I approach the magnet to the whole effect sensor, we see the variation of the voltage in the signal pin of the whole effect sensor. Now we have to glue the magnets to our disc, the same disc we used in the previous video. So since we have got 4 gaps in this disc, let's use also 4 magnets. So in both methods we should read the same value, so we don't have to do any extra calculation. Now let's connect those cables straight to the whole effect sensor so we can place the whole effect sensor close to the magnets, close to the disc. So let's do it. So now I'm gonna fix the whole effect sensor in this tripod. So we should be able to place this tripod close to the disc and the whole effect sensor will be able to detect the magnets. That's the sensitive area of the whole effect sensor, so it has to be placed like this, with this side facing the magnets.
we don't really have to use a breadboard but to have our configuration nice and tight I'm gonna place the bread breadboard here in the tripod so we can connect all the cables in the breadboard and at least it's gonna look nicer So now I'm gonna hook up the channel 2 of the oscilloscope to the whole effect sensor tachometer. So let's place it close to the disc and let's test it out. As you guys can see on the oscilloscope, we are able to detect the variation of voltage when the magnets pass close to the whole effect sensor. Now let's hook up our laser tachometer to the channel 1 of the oscilloscope and make our comparison. Ok guys, I think now we are ready to our comparison, so let's power the motor up and let's watch the result. The conclusion I've got from this experiment is both methods give us reliable results. The measurement we have got from the laser tachometer and from the whole effect sensor one are quite similar. As you guys can see here on the screen of the oscilloscope, the readings of frequency between them are quite the same. So even the wave of the whole effect sensor tachometer looks better, both give you a similar result. So that's it guys, I hope you guys like this video, if yes please thumbs up and I will catch you next time.